lemon ricotta, ciao, ciao bella, cheesecake with a caramel topping and pistachios. So I've got my nine inch springform pan and a parchment round cut out. Use your cooking spray, hit the sides and the bottom. And then your parchment round will stick in there nicely, won't come out. And the crumb crust for this is just gonna be our awesome vanilla wafers and a half a cup of melted butter that's just cooled. Get all those cookies in your food processor and add in that butter. So this looks great. The texture of these crumbs now is like slightly damp sand. Get it all in your spring form, and then you're gonna use your fingers to press it into the bottoms and the sides to make your crust. You kinda of get a feel for it while you're working. I like the edges where the bottom meets the sides to be just a little thicker. Look at that, super nice. Your fingers really are the best for this. And now I'm gonna freeze it for about 15 minutes before it goes in the oven. I'm really gonna use my Groovy KitchenAid for the filling just to mix everything really nicely so it gets very silky and very smooth. 16 ounces of cream cheese at room temperature, low speed. This is 32 ounces of ricotta, ciao, buongiorno. I like to scrape down the sides of the bowl periodically. That is nice and fluffy, so I'm gonna add in a cup of granulated sugar and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of amaretto, and then add in your eggs one at a time, mixing for about 10 seconds between each. And lastly, the juice and zest of one lemon. Crust is out of the oven, chilled. It's just a little golden brown on the edges. I'm putting some foil underneath it in case there are any drips. And there's a baking sheet on the bottom rack. Cheesecake filling is silky, smooth, beautiful. I'm gonna give it a taste. That is super good. Hint of the amaretto. You can really taste the lemon. Very just sort of simple and smooth and beautiful. Just gonna pour all of the mix into my crust. I'm gonna bake this for about an hour at 325. I want the sides to be set and the center to be just a little jiggly. Cheesecake just came out of the oven. The sides are set. That middle just has that jiggle jiggle. And now I'm gonna let this cool on a rack. It's gonna chill in the fridge for the rest of the night. I'm gonna finish it up in the morning. Cheesecake has been chilling all night long in the fridge. Look at that. Just a tiny, tiny crack on the top. It's gonna to be covered with a caramel. You could easily serve it just like this. I'm gonna pop open that spring form. The crust looks so nice. I'm just gonna use some caramel that I got from the store. If you want to make your own caramel, go for it. I sometimes do it, but caramel can be kind of a pain in the butt. So for this guy, I'm just using some really great stuff I got from the store. Just gonna use a spoon to kind of spread it around a little bit. And these are my lovely roasted salted pistachios that I just hit in the food processor a few times. Just gonna drop those in on that caramel circle. That is just so pretty, right? I, there's a reason this is one of my favorite desserts to make for people, really kind of treat them. It's such a great party dessert. But wait, there is more. So for your final presentation of this, if you want to give it that extra oomph, we're going to use these cookies and line the edges of the cheesecake. It's going to be amazing. They're winter knocked spice cookies. I love them. They taste really good. You're just going to brush the back of them with some caramel and then stick it to the side, then go all the way around. And look at that. It just looks spectacular on the table. Your guests will go crazy for it. It's really got the look and feel of something extra special to serve your peeps. You can just see that on a really great holiday table. It's an absolute holiday showstopper for your special occasion table. You just make it the night before so you're not running around like crazy pants the day of your gathering. Cheers. Mm. It's so light, you can really taste the lemon. It just has this beautiful texture. Caramel on those pistachios, fantastic. The whole thing is just... I used that spice cookie to get that last bite. 